She never, of course, denied that it was her when I reported it, and she resigned from the city council a few days later after having been exposed as being a rather vile person with some rather filthy comments to make about the rest of the world and pretty hateful comments to make about a lot of other people in Wauwatosa. Well, this brings me to a story now. As I say, this outfit down in Kenosha, the Kenosha County Eye has broken the story. It's about a guy who's running for the school board in Kenosha. And as I've explained, Kenosha Unified is a school district. It's a huge school district. It runs well beyond the boundaries of the city of Kenosha. It's a very big regional district. Lots of students. said it covers areas including in the suburban area of Kenosha and not just the city and the guy who's running for the school board has his own Facebook page but he's also created a Facebook page off of another name now, here's the thing about this the other name that he creates has all the letters of his actual name but he just jumbles them around Now, you're going to need a psychiatrist to try to figure out, is that somebody who wants to be caught or not? Like, it would be like if I created a fake book page and I took, like, Clam Granilla or what or something or another, where I took, like, like, maybe you wouldn't put two and two together, but if you're going to create a fake page with a fake name, why not choosing something altogether different? The guy's actual name is Samuel Ruchnik. And he's running for the school board in Kenosha, and he's running as a conventional candidate saying, I'm a parent, I'm a taxpayer, etc. But this outfit, the Kenosha County Eye, has discovered that Samuel Ruchnik has been running a separate Facebook page under the handle Samnik Ritual. So in other words, he takes letters of his first and last names and kind of moves them around a little bit to sort of change the name. And on that site, there is all sorts of not only weirdness, but radicalism. For example, he shows a picture of a male sticking his tongue out. And the cut line on the photo is, one of the health benefits of ingesting vaginal bacteria via cutilingus how eating bleep could be good for your health and then he posts a link to that story this is a guy who's running for the school board then there's another one where the under his fake name sam nick ritual he goes on and on and on about how wonderful the work is of prostitution which is kind of out of sync with the crackdown we have on human trafficking sex work is real work and it's good work and it should be respected as much as any other profession. I stand by strippers, cam girls and guys, prostitutes, and openly sexual people of all genders, races, and status. Without these people doing what they do, the world could be an even more sexually aggressive place than it already is. Be glad that there are people out there doing this work. It's harder than you think and doing more good than you may know. Then... He has another post about what's going on in Tijuana. A fairly objective person took a look at the sex industry in TJ, Mexico. Personally, I'm all for legal sex work. It allows greater protection for sex workers and lays the foundation for society to begin accepting them into the mainstream. Then he goes on, talking about the tourists who go down there for the, uh, for the sex work. And then we've got other ones in which he starts railing about conservatives. Top comment from Liberty Means Post. It's literally a person just reading a story to children. Oh, no, children learning it's the end of the world. And it's a reference to one of the schools bringing in a drag queen to do a reading program for little children. He was defending this. He then goes on and on and on with a long screen under his screen under his fake name, Samnick Rochewal, in which he writes about the communist manifesto and how wonderful communism is. It's the typical kind of idiocy that you would see from a liberal who isn't very smart but thinks that he's pretty smart in which he goes on and on and on about how awful America is and how wonderful Marxism and so on. He's got another screen here in which 
He's ripping on police officers and how they always engage in brutality and so on. So anyway, this guy is, under his actual name, a candidate for the Kenosha School Board. And so far as we can tell, none of the voters down in Kenosha were aware that he was running this page under this similar name, which, again, makes me wonder what the point is. So he wants to be conventional enough and mainstream enough that he can get elected to the school board, but he's apparently determined enough to put all of his weirdo political views out there, so he creates this fake page, but then doesn't go very far to conceal it by using... By the way, according to the Kenosha County I, when they contacted the guy, the actual guy, he admitted that it was his page, and he says he's glad that it's out there, that these are worthwhile things to read, but... He's taken the page down. Now to another story. So that's the case of the person who is already a liberal, but apparently is far more radical than he's letting on to the stuff that he had put out to this fake post. Now we've got the other example. A regular old broken down liberal who's running for office in a rather conservative area suddenly trying to pose as a conservative. Now, I've been tipped off to this information by a couple of people who are familiar with the story. One of the few areas of Milwaukee County 